welcome um this is the energy vibration um reading for the birthday peoples the um scorpions birthday people um it is the 44 week of the year 2017 and i want to say to each and every person out there thank you for being here thank you for returning um, thank you for being here another one um, another wonderful year um, together we are looking and trying to change the energies around us okay um, it's Halloween yeah my house is a little bit um, um, <laughs> I have been so busy and I want to apologize to all the um, people who have asked me for reading I have been moving I'm sick I'm having the flu and I've been moving my eyes you can see how tired I am but yet still I'm getting out these readings and I will get your readings out in a week it has been the last three weeks has been um, very 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 busy for myself and so I'm, I'm so sorry I'm so apologizing for it okay this um, year, your year of 2007 is just begin for you, Scorpius, who are having birthday from the 29 um, um, until um, the 3rd. Okay, so as a um, no, the 30th, the 30th of September. Let me check my dates. Um, the from the 30th of September until the 5th. Of October okay so this reading is for the people who are having birthday from the 30th of September until the 5th of October okay so let's go in the reading and let's see what is happening for you guys in this week um, okay first we have a water sign because the week and for you guys it's going to be wonderful because you have the wheel of fortune it is the week of Halloween I'm sorry I love Halloween my baby was born on Halloween so um, <laughs> I am so ecstatic about Halloween so um, please you guys have the wheel of fortune so if your birthday is between the 30th of October and the 5th of November I'm so sorry your year of 2017 is going to be a fantastic because 2017 is just beginning for you guys okay so it's going to be wonderful it's a lot of um, a lot of blessings a lot of gift a lot of happiness a lot of joy the wheel of fortune is bringing you positive things good things are going to come in your life so it's going to be wonderful with the energy of the wheel of fortune it is a fire week so and it's a, a lucky week for a lot of people it's a lucky week Halloween is always lucky you guys are really Halloween babies so um, let's look and see what 2017 has to bring for you okay there's something that I found out that was so ecstatic so um, what I did was to use um, justice in place and that was that the number six came twice in your reading it came on Wednesday which that is saying that the the, the, the year of 2017 for you guys is going to be a year of love a lot of love because it came on Wednesday and it came back on Saturday a lot of love so a lot of you will be meeting your soulmate in this year because this is the beginning right after your birthday it is the beginning of the year 2017 so okay let's look and see what is going on which is going to be very very positive for you guys um, if you guys are having a relationship with someone who is uh, an Aquarius uh, uh, Gemini or a Libra be aware of that the wheel of fortune come twice for you guys so it is going to be good and the next energy that you have it's Halloween so I'm wearing red um, the five of swords with the wheel of fortune and what is happening is that your luck is going to come in but there is going to be a lot of people who are hating you okay so the wheel of fortune is your year lucky year for you um, 
for you um, um scorpions but with the luck that you're receiving there's going to be a lot of hate coming at you the five of swords um people stabbing you in the back and that sort of a thing so be aware of that because you're going to be so lucky a lot of stuff is going to be happening good things are going to be happening for you but you are going to have the energy of the five of swords people working against you okay as we look at your um, um, your your reading, the wheel of fortune comes twice, so it's going to be very very lucky. There is going to be a celebration, a victorious celebration for a lot of people. If you are having a relationship with um, someone who is an Aquarius, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, uh, um, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a, a Libran, be aware of this person. You're in a love relationship. It's not a honest person. Um, this person is a deceiving person. This person is sick. This person is working with black magic. Okay. This person is manipulating the energies around you to manipulate you in doing certain things. Be aware of it. You are going to find out about this in the year 2017 and you're going to walk away from this. Okay. Be aware of this. I'm asking, I'm asking really 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 um, for you guys to be aware of this situation that is happening okay work okay let's look at because remember this is a general reading if you guys would like to have the year 2017 reading you need to um, uh, make an appointment or order a reading on the website because this is just a general reading and there's so many messages that's coming out in this reading for you guys okay let's go let's see what is happening here but again I need to warn you guys there is something that you are with an air sign whoever you are with an air sign um, whoever you are with an air sign you're with an air sign and it's a man it's a man um, you are a scorpion man that is with someone who is uh, um, who is uh, um, an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra this person is a dishonest person this person is not nice you need to be careful for this person because this person is an evil person she is not being honest with anything okay all right good I am going to do your readings layer for layers, but first we're look at, going to look at each individual who is having birthday in this week. This is a wonderful, wonderful situation. Okay, so we are looking at the people who were born on the 30th of October. You have the energy of judgment. Judgment, this judgment is a good judgment because what is happening is that you are victorious over something, whatever that was happening, um, you're victorious over it and you will be helped. Um, there's a lot of help that will be coming into you. Um, there is so much help that is going to be coming into you financially and people who are just helping you because they want to help you and they want to show you how much they love you and how much they really care about you and all what you're doing for them there is going to be a connection um, this connection is going to be in the business sense because people are going to be coming in to help you out with your business they have seen how good you are and how you are trying to change the energy of yourself and people around you and they're going to come in and help you so expect um, a lot of revelations but good revelation good things will be coming in for you um, people who were born on the 30th of October a lot of help will be coming in in the year 2017 there is going to be marriage marriage is going to be good relationship good friendship good um, connection with other people and it's going to be extremely extremely a positive good year for you guys so congratulations again as we move on to the energy vibration of um, the people who were born on the 31st of October happy Halloween and happy birthday to someone very special out there um, I love you so much I know you watch my readings even though you don't tell me and um, I love you so much you're my world happy birthday I'm so glad I'm here with you this year to celebrate your birthday and I love you so much and to all the rest of the people especially to my girlfriend daughter Sabrina 
Um, happy birthday. Oh my God. Um, you're just like my son. Happy birthday to everyone out there and um, who's having a birthday on the 31st of October. And um, you're the most strangest people, the hardest people, but when you love someone, you just love someone and love is the most beautiful thing. And I want to say to each and every person who was born on Halloween or the 31st of um, October, if you don't celebrate Halloween, you are just blessed in so many ways. So again, I'm wishing you all the luck in this year, 2017, and enjoy because it's going to be a nice, um, 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 peaceful year where you're finding and you're going within and you're finding yourself, you're finding your true inner light, your true inner peace within the light is showing up, you're remembering who you are, you're happy, you're exquisite happy, and you're going to meet your twin flame, okay? You're going to meet your twin flame in this year. The universe has and is going to orchestrate the meeting of your twin flame. Twin flame is different from soulmate. Twin flame is the person who is the opposite polarity of you, and they are going to be there for you, and you are going to be so, so happy. You're going to be extremely happy. So congratulations again. Um, love is going to be so powerful in this year, 2017, for you guys, because right after your birthday, it is the year 2017 that is beginning for you. So this year is going to be a year that you're finding your inner truth, your in your true north, you're seeing yourself, you're realizing who you are, you're understanding who you are, you're happy with who you are, and love your twin flame is coming in this year. Okay, your number is going to be um ah oh god the six is love all over. Okay, so four and six is ten. 10 and 12 is 22 and your number is going to be the duality of um, 2 2 2 so you'll be working on double duality and most of the people who were born on the 31st your life part number is always a duat duality number it's always 11 22 or 33 or 44 okay so you are going to be working with 22 in this year of 2000 and I want to wish you so much love because for you scorpions there this is a year of a lot of love for you guys okay as we move forward um, going back to the people who were born on the 30th because I didn't give you a number for this year you have judgment which is two and you have twice seven so 77 is going to play um and 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 role in your life and this is going to be good because 77 is telling you that you are on the right part to whatever you want to achieve in your life so this is for the people who were born on the 30th i didn't give you a number number 77 is going to be your number because you have uh, uh oh, 77 um it's going to be your number it's a six, seven, and two, and um, what you get from that, it is they're given number 77, so you're on your life part. Okay, we're going to look at the people who were born on the 1st of November. You have the energy of the lovers. Wow, okay. You have the energy of the lovers. This is wonderful. So your year is going to be a year of relationships. This is going to be intimate relationship for some people. And for some people, it's going to be relationship being with other people. This is what I was talking about because it's a crowning of your um, week. And this reading is that someone that is with an um, Aquarius, a Libra or a Sag um, Aquarius, a Gemini or a Libra, you are with this woman and this is not a nice person. OK, you need to release yourself from this relationship. It's a nasty relationship. It's someone who manipulates, who use negative energies to manipulate you. You need to get out and get out now. Ask the universe to release you this sort of relationship. And it's for a man. I did say that it was for a man, didn't I? Here it is. So there is a scorpion men. There are scorpion men out there. That is having a relationship with someone who is an Aquarian, a Gemini, or a Libra. Get out. Leave this relationship. 
this person is a sick person like what is in the picture she is sick she lose negative energies to manipulate things around her get out of this relationship and ask your angels and guides to release you from this relationship you need to get out of this relationship and I'm feeling that this person is a liberal or a um, the Gemini's are not uh, Gemini people are actually nice people they can be um, they have two characteristics which you always have to understand but I personally find Gemini people to be very nice people when they're when they're working on a positive uh, energy but when they're working on negative energy um, you have to be careful because they have double characteristic there are the twins so you know they can show you one face and you know behind is another face so you have to be aware of it but I personally like Gemini people okay I can I, I really like Gemini people the liberals I do like but when they're nasty they can be extremely nasty so you have to be aware of that I have a lot of liberal friends but I, I know that of a fact okay this is good because for the people who were born on the 2nd of November, you have the energy vibration of you're going on a new journey. So a lot of you will be starting out new things, going new places, going. A lot of you will be traveling and going overseas. A lot of new stuff will be happening for you. A lot of people are going to be changing work, changing um, houses, changing a lot of stuff in your life in this year. It's going to be a new beginning for a lot of you people. So enjoy this. Um, if something is going to happen that you're going to feel as if it's a cruelty and that's why you're going on this new journey but this thing has to happen so that you can move forward because sometimes we want to stay at places and things where we have all grown and uh, the universe will um, um, orchestrate something that makes you have to move okay whatever is happening something happened to some people that was very very dishonest that wasn't nice it was something that was cruel and it was something that happened um, not in the place where you live but somewhere else somewhere overseas um, it can be someone lied about something and uh, someone have done you great injustice of uh, lying and being very mischievous and um, um, saying things that was not uh, um, correct because you have people you have devious people people can be so sick in the head you will not imagine okay so whatever the situation is let it go move on you're on a new journey um, this new journey is going to bring you positive um, result in your life so let go what has ever what has happened to you and move on because uh, wonderful positive things is going to come out because your year is the year of the wheel of fortune okay okay let's go we're looking at the people who were born on the 3rd of November you are going to be dealing with a lot of situations a lot of people in organization a lot of um, stuff that you weren't aware of that was happening um, a situation is going to come up and you are going to find the strength to resolve them because salvation salvation is coming in and what is going to happen is that the universe is going to send you and bring you and move you and send help for you um, to um, um, heal whatever this injustice has been okay so you have the ten of cups salvation so an organization some group of people who um, maybe you are unaware of that you have been dealing with they are going to see the injustice that was done to you and they are going to open up their hearts and they're going to try and heal the situation and this is um, um, where you get a bucket of flowers of they saying we are so sorry we weren't aware of what was happening okay so a great apology is going to come in to a lot of people who was born on the 3rd of November because something has happened to you that was so injustice and um, your family and people your friends and people in organizations because sometimes things can happen to you maybe um, an injury maybe someone has done something injustice to you and was um, you know bringing you in dark places and lying and making you look so bad and then it's as if uh, people found out that they were lying and um, you have been brought 
uh, injustice on you and they're saying sorry um, they're apologizing and saying sorry open up your heart accept it and you know ask for healing I know what that is like um, and ask for healing and you know and forgive these people you don't need to forget it but you can't forgive them and said thank you you have apologized and you know let's just uh, remove the dust away and get on in life okay this is what we need to do as we move on to the people who were born on um you know I have justice here but um you have the energy of the lovers okay because the lovers came up twice um, I can use the eye princess I can use um, the the the, um, the Emperor but I choose to use justice and I can use the lovers to let you know that the energy of the lovers is coming up justice is coming um, the energies of the lovers and justice and it's bringing you the wheel of fortune and money is going to come to you and isn't this wonderful um, so ladies and gentlemen you people who were born on November 4th you are going to be so so lucky in this year money is going to come to you the wheel of fortune is going to bring you money beyond your wildest dream you weren't even thinking of this you are going to be surprised at the things that is going to be happening for you because you're going to realize how much the universe and your spirit guides and your angel love you and whatever situation with the situation of lovers people play is injustice that was um, happening to you scorpion you guys who were born on the 4th of November the wheel of fortune is going to bring you money so we have 6 10 and this is 34 which is 7 um so you can work with all the numbers 6 10 and um 34 um, 6 10 and 34 34 comes down to 7 because um, energy vibration and numerology is just from 0 to 9 and everything is breaking down to one digit so here we are use this number 3 or 4 10 and um, the 11 the justice you can use and also number 6 okay so you guys got a lot of numbers okay we're moving forward to the people who were born on the fifth the people who were born on the fifth congratulations you have overcome all the obstacles everything you are victorious and successful in a lot of stuff in your life you have overcome things that was uh, unbelievable you have overcome so many things and you are moving to some place which is much better and with higher energies and you are going to be celebrating celebrate good times come on and you'll be receiving good messages so ladies and gentlemen boys and girls who are having birthday on November 5th you are going to have a wonderful 2017 year you're going to be so victorious so triumphant success is going to come in you are going to celebrate this year as you have never done another year good news is coming into you so expect wonderful positive new news and this is good so congratulations again so for a week that has fall the week number 44 is number 44 is the energy of the angels so this is going to be a miraculous week for a lot of people um you are the first sign i'm reading for you this is a bird reading so i know this is a lucky streak week and your year begins this week your year 2000 so after the the um people who were born on the 30th of october um you're going to realize that Love is going to be the powerful, the most powerful um, 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 situation for this year 2017 because this is the beginning of your year 2017 and love is going to be so powerful for um, each and every person um, who was born between the 30th of October and the 5th of November. It's going to be a, such a positive, such a strong, good, good 
um, um, reading uh, energies that is going to come out for you guys. There's a lot of people who are going to be traveling. Please remember, this is very important. I'm receiving the message again for the men who have relationship with people who are Aquarians, Gemini, or Libran. You need to release yourself of this relationship. You're being manipulated. This person, the woman who you're with, who is an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libran, is using negativity to manipulate you. Call upon the universe and guides, and I'm asking, and I'm praying with you guys, and I'm asking whoever this person is, whoever is out there, that this woman who is of an, uh, an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini that is using negative energies and material and uh, manipulating this person, please, I'm asking the universal angels and guides of this person and this person to please release this person of this negative energy once and for all. Break it. I'm calling up on the Lord of Karma and all the universal angels to watch over this person and protect this person from the ends of the negative ones. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to do that because um, it is, uh, I'm receiving this from the angels that it is so bad that uh, and you're so blocked and you're not seeing this because this person is using negative energies to uh, manipulate you. And you know, it is, uh, it is a, a stupid thing, but a lot of people like to eat from people I prefer to go uh, to a restaurant or I'm going to order in when I um, invite people over. Um, this person has been um, manipulating me by putting something in your food. These things do happen. We need to be aware of these things. This is a sick person and she needs to get out of your life. Okay. All right. I, 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 I got to give the messages that they want to come true. Okay. Let's see. Because it's Halloween week. Yeah, we have the cyclists because guess who we're using? Okay, a lot of people don't like this card set that I'm using, but the wisdom of the house of knights. Okay, and it's Halloween weekend, so I am using that energy. Uh, I, I use the zombie tarot because I find the zombie tarot nice, but you guys are a little bit skeptic. I remember someone says, I didn't expect you to use the cards, but it's not the cards. It's the message that is behind the cards. Okay. So for you birthday people, you have the cyclists and let's look. It says what goes around comes around is the message of the symbol of the cycles. The moon goes from new to full in cycles that re re reappear every month. Whatever you are planning to do or to reveal by asking your question will be re revised in other circumstances. Be there about your action. You will surely meet this explanation again. Remember, what goes around comes around like the moon that revolves around the planet. The energies that you express in your next action will uh, orbit around you. Make sure it's a good one. I always tell you people, be positive. This is like the energy of the moon card. So what they're saying is that what goes around comes around. So if someone does you something negative, if someone um, deal with you bad, what goes around comes around. It is a karmatic time. This is what they're trying to say. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am leaving you with that messages. It's a very long, this is a very long video. I'm leaving you with this message and I want to say to each and every person out there, uh, I love you so much. You scorpions rock. I really, 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 um, um, I'm, you know, wanted to do this for Halloween weekend. I love, love, love. I so love your week, your new year. And I want to say to each and every person in this week, happy birthday to you. And um, I'm sending you a lot of love and light. Please remember to listen to your sun, moon, and rising sign. And for the people who have ordered reading for me, please give me a chance. I need to get my stuff. And if you know, just I need to get my stuff um, getting going. And uh, your readings will be delivered. I want to say namaste until next week.